the latest installment of the infamous yet venerable family of automatic rifles. The AK-12 was first presented on January 2012 as yet another possible replacement for the battle-proven AK-74M. Being the final project of Mikhail Kalashnikov and Vladimir Zlobin, who's finished the design, the AK-12 benefits of all the advantages of its predecessors, those being reliability, ease of use, low production cost and manageable weight, plus a number of improvements such as improved rifling, which grants it superior accuracy, ambidextrous controls and ejection, the addition of a cold rail system for mounting optics and a variety of other accessories, and most noticeable, and a thousand round per minute three round burst fire mode. And according with some pictures that I've been finding, it seems as that the Kalashnikov version of the Bass counterweight system of the AK-107 might have been added in as well, probably in order to compete with the A545, which, as I mentioned in my previous review, is a modernized version of the AK-971 for the, the 2014 Ravnik trials. Once more, Battlefield 4 comes close but doesn't nail it. Although with the latest patch the AK-12 took a buff in its accuracy, it still is kind of underpowered, but I'll address that later. Recall-wise, the AK-12 is quite the breeze to handle, with a 0.3 degrees of muzzle climb, a negligible pull to the left of 0.17 and to the right of 0.12, with a first shot recoil multiplier of 2.1. This, with a spread increase per shot of 0.084, grants you with the ability of laser beaming people across the map. And, as long as you stay away from those grips, you will be able to burst it in a way that no sniper will be safe from your red onslaught. Now, the AK is not an aggressive weapon, since its full auto rate of fire is a miserable 650 rounds per minute. You get an increase to 750 if you switch to burst fire, which I strongly recommend. But still, it won't be enough to go against certain higher rate of fire ARs, I'll send, such as uh, Ace-23. Plus, the reload, although not being the worst, can get you killed if mistimed. 3.2 seconds empty and 2.3 if a round is still in the chamber. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I still consider the AK-12 somewhat underpowered. It does seem to lack both the rate of fire and the stopping power to drop targets, uh, even at close range, with the burst fire mode. Which, by the way, I don't know if you recognize from what I said earlier about uh, how the real life, how the real life version of the gun operates. In real life, the burst fire. Uh, the, uh, the burst fire function the AK-12 allows it to fire at an amazing rate of fire of a thousand rounds per minute. This makes it quite reliable and somewhat mimics the way of the AEN-94. But it's no hyperburst. I honestly do not know how it achieves a higher rate of fire from the burst fire, um, from um, the normal rate of fire of 650 RPM to the thousand round of, uh, RPM of the burst fire, I don't know how, how that is achieved, but I'm pretty sure it must have to do with um, when you probably switch the system, but that's neither here nor there. So, <coughs> how would I advise DICE to, to improve this gun? Now, there are two ways I thought of. You can either increase its damage module, or you can uh, increase the burst fire rate of fire of the gun and add in the delay. For example, if you increase the, the, the burst fire rate of fire of the AK-12 to 1000 in order to mimic the way the gun operates in real life, you could also reduce the, the, um, introduce a, a, burst, a, a burst delay between the, the well, a burst fire delay between the bursts, like the one on the, on the AN-94 that is 700 rounds per minute, yet on the, a, on the AK-12 I would advise to use um, a 650 burst per minute delay instead of the 700. Why? Because you're also firing one extra bullet. That means it's two bursts in close quarters, three bursts at range. Since you can really control the recoil well into the gun, there is no bigger problem. I actually also advise you to use the heavy barrel on the AK-12, as I would with most assault rifles since the patch. 
but on the AK-12, the heavy barrel doesn't really add much. Only adds um, uh, 0 0.09 vertical, so basically becomes 0 0.39 uh, vertical climb, muzzle climb. Thus, it still the gun is quite as accurate as before, and really also helps out with your with your spread increase per shot, thus making the burst fire capability of the gun really peak, making an absolute laser beam if you could just control that mild uh, increase of recoil. Now, the other way to buff the AK, uh, the AK-12, is actually give it a different round, increasing the damage module. How would that work? Well, the real version of the AK-12 can accept a variety of different calibers by changing the bolt. The version we have in game is the light version, so the calibers that are available to it are the 5.45, as you s as we have in the game, the 5.56 the NATO cartridge, the same cartridge you can find on the M16 and um, uh, the Ace 23 7.62 by 39 which is the round you can now find on the RPK uh, 74M and the same round of the SKS or you could go with another round in which the gun uh, was being tested by Kalashnikov Concern which is a 6.5 Grendel now, it would not be the very first time we'd see that round in Battlefield, since it was present in Battlefield 3 uh, in the ACWR version of that game. Now, in that game, the magazine capacity is reduced to only 28, I think, 28 rounds, if I recall correctly, I might be wrong there. But um, from what I read about um, this, uh, the 6.5 Grendel version of the AK-12, uh, AK sorry, um, it uses similar magazines to the 7.62 uh, version of the AK-12, 7.62 by 39, just slightly modified magazines. So technically it maintains the same capacity. So how would that damage module work? Well, a way to make it balanced and not really becoming the most powerful assault rifle in the game, but maintaining its place, would basically give it the damage models 27 damage up to 12 and a half meters. It, this would put the gun on the, the four shot kill ability, and would still that four shot would bypass the defensive field upgrade and then have it drop off. So then, it, well, the drop off starts at 12 and a half meters and ends at 60 meters, but at 60 meters it would be doing 18 and a half damage. That way you can still get um, slightly better damage than the normal 5.56 and 5.45 weapons in the game. But without going to the realm of the hard-hitting battle rifles in the assault rifle class, like the Scar H and the Bulldog. Well, in my honest opinion, that would be one of the ways. Now, I do think that maintaining its, uh, muzzle, its current muzzle velocity with its new damage module Current muzzle boss being 600 meters per second would be a little bit too good, and that will give it too much firepower at range. Um, it'll be just too easy to use it uh, moving targets and all, and people who die might get the feeling of dying around corners a little bit more, so we don't want that. My advice would be to reduce it about um, 40 meters per second to 560 meters per second. That would bring it more or less in line. Basically, be a little bit faster muzzle velocity than the current Scar Rage muzzle velocity, which is 500. But uh, still not as good as, uh, for example, the AN94 with 620 or the Orge 3 with 670 meters per second muzzle velocity. Well, and there's that. But I still do think the best way to really buff the AK-12 was just to give it the 1000 round per minute burst fire with the 600 burst per minute um, um, delay. 650 bus per minute delay. I honestly think that is, that is the best way. Now, it would add in more variety to the game if uh, the AK-12 was given in the, f in the future patch um, a higher damage module. But then again, that is something that needs to be studied out. Also, with the highest damage module, it might be a good idea to nerf one of the good things about the AK-12 just mildly with the spread. Because then you'll get a gun that will match, if not outgun, the Scar Rage, which is, which is now becoming probably the dedicated long-range assault rifle, as it should always have been. 
It just wasn't because of the 410 muzzle velocity. That was a terrible muzzle velocity. And nothing could be done also is basically give it a higher, um, a higher gravitational pull. Make, give it a little bit more bullet drop. Kind of like a, um, a light machine gun bullet drop. But well guys, that is it. That is the AK-12. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And well, have a nice...